I literally was talking, and guess what? This, um, yeah, there you have it. These cards came out, but anyway, I hit the pause button <laughs> with my uh, USB or whatever this called, mouse. Um, so anyway, in the process of you dealing with this person, you're connected. You're winning, and they're unhinged because you are, and because you didn't let things affect you. I'm not going to say for so long, but you just started to understand their bullshit. So the cards that came out, just in case I do not feel like editing this video, was never satisfied, pretender, and unhinged, but then comes out connected and winning. Oh, I didn't even see that, and stuck up. So uh, they hold this persona or this image about, you know, how nothing is ever enough for them, like they need this, you know, they, all they do is win, 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 no matter what. But it's basically because they don't care about people's feelings and they're unhinged. And um, at some point you feel like they're stuck up, but they're connected to people and they're, they seem to be winning, but uh, yeah, threatening. Mm -hmm. I don't know, looking you up. They're trying to do, uh, they're trying to figure out a way to get under your skin it says projecting a false image um, because at some point you're very spiritual and they're a spiritual hater I'm not sure how that resonates with you but basically somebody that's never satisfied will never be happy with anything that you do and they'll feel threatened by you so listen in relationships or situationships there's no room for jealousy or to be in competition with each other and so with that being said that's how this person uh, acts it's like you can't understand what they're doing they care about how others feel they're never satisfied with all the love and the support and the attention that you give them um but it's because they're unhinged um they play like they're stuck up and that they're connected and they're winning but mentally they're they don't know how to deal with their um what is it their mental health and so therefore everything that you do is never good enough and that they feel threatened when it comes to you so let me just go ahead and give you my spell yeah emotions are not a fact are not facts and so you're trying to look at things in a different light uh, but emotions aren't fact aren't facts when it comes to certain things now let me tell you this um, this is honest love tarot if you haven't seen it on here but when it says emotions aren't fact aren't facts you know your emotions are not basically how they're feeling and their emotions are basically not how you feel or how they make you feel and so when it comes to situations like this you have to turn around and see things in a new light in order for you to realize that if you stay connected you're going to always win and so when it says spiritual hater sometimes I, I, I posted this thing the other day on um um on my tiktok when it comes to yeah reality bending reality you're trying to make fetch happen. What goes around comes around. You don't want to feel this way, but bending reality is you trying to change a person, um, not necessarily change respectfully, but you trying to see things in a new light, and that's the reason why you give them so much of your time. So let me just say my spiel. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts, if you made it through, purple hearts, if it resonates, green hearts, if you're working on it, yellow hearts, if you rock with me, and got my six, meaning to have my back, because I have yours. If you hear echo, it's because I'm um, in a different place, and I haven't um, completely fixed my office up, and so that is why the echo is there. Uh, once I put all my furniture in here, I've been on the go, I've been moving around. But once I put all the furniture in here, it's going to be a little bit better. I'll take this card. Ten, this is uh, the end. And so, yeah, these are the tower moments that has to happen when it comes to why you say to them, you know, we should slow down without telling them that you. I feel like you're threatened by me. Or I feel like you, you know, don't want to see me win. All you care about is yourself. And I'm kind of tired of that. And so I, I just feel like when it comes to... Uh, this person place thing I'm adjusting my microphone when it comes to this person place thing or situation you're just drained you know and now they're watching you and they're trying to figure out what you're doing um, projecting a false image because you don't care about how people feel about you you only care about how this person feels and again it's never satisfied but that's the universe telling you you know what divine detour you have options you have options you have options and you're able to 
manifest things that you want and they don't understand why you don't have to be around somebody else in order or get somebody's uh, approval in order to win or have the things that people have as above so below let me um the thing is with this 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 saying um you know blood and th blood is thicker than water um is at the bottom of the deck but with as above so below you know i look at this card as you know you've been planting seeds and you've been patient and you've been waiting but that's not really what the saying is and so therefore when it comes to how you feel the the yeah there is no yeah you have to take the courage uh because this is in reverse the this is like the ace of wands energy you have to take the courage and stop doubting your energy and because they make you feel some type of way uh because they're not satisfied and deal yep deal with the solar plex chakra um you know it's uh the identity ego and uh power center and then triggered center is the solar plex chakra yeah and the root chakra you have to ground yourself you have to ground yourself and understand that ego plays a huge part and somebody being a spiritual hater, they don't want what's best for you. They want what's best for them. And so, therefore, when it comes to the Ace of Wands, no new beginnings, no courage, no going after your desires. This is you being stagnant because this person isn't able to give you what you really want. And that's why bending reality in the universe saying divine detour is, is letting you know that, hey, you have to do something different when it comes to this person, place, thing, or situation. And nine times out of ten... When it comes to that, those are the money blocks that we go through and we have to get through when it comes to how you feel. So this is, here we go, two tarot card decks. Uh, well, this is not a tarot card. This is um, the empathic uh, deck and um, it came out behind this. And then this is the manifest money and also, um, what is it, money blocks. Uh, breakthrough money blocks and then it is also manifest success is what it is and there on the other card uh, deck is which i don't know the name of it is uh by midnight oracle and they're on etsy so if you're looking to find this deck that's where you find um these decks this is also a reader that's on um youtube and also another one virtual reality nine this is her first um what's the t deck by virtual reality nine so support her if you need to um i think she gave me a coupon code it's phoenix 10 save or something like that to save 10 percent. but this one is again he's a good tarot reader on um youtube as well and i got this off of it's a link in his bio or whatever so honest love tarot and then the money blocks by midnight oracle i support anybody who supports uh you know their craft because it's really hard to kind of get out there and to start. As you guys know, I've been working on my card decks. And it's just a matter of me hitting a button and getting them out. But you know what? You always want to make things perfect. And so when that comes to a situation, you have to kind of stop doubting yourself. Excuse me. Kind of stop doubting yourself and just do it. And I'm not doubting myself. I just don't have the time to actually go through. And uh, Virtual Reality 9 has been helping me a lot when it comes to her motivation she's such a sweetheart and she's very talented so she has more than one deck manifesting so that's what this is about and that's what we were talking about uh, manifesting it says you have the power to manifest what you want by writing your intentions down and by taking inspired action to make it happen and so that is what you had to do when it came to this person place thing or situation blocking you bottom of the deck and a couple of cards fell out not my destiny change your financial fate with your own free will i'm destined for success so that's a part of grounding yourself and a part of understanding what ego is and how it plays a huge part in situationships hold on let me get these cards up uh you know how it plays a huge part in situationships and why it's not your destiny just because they are spiritual haters and you know they're not grounded and also their ego gets the best of them they don't know how to manifest like you so you don't say what goes around comes around you you know you try to bend reality and wish the best for this person and at some point it's like you got to slow down and this is the end of this situation as above slow below is basically you understanding that you have you have no um what is it? No control over what a person does. And so when it comes to that as above, so below, I look at it as, you know, um, you are planting seeds 
and a person does not like the way you do that. And that could be the reason why things are stopping or stagnant for you. Um, but you're constantly trying to keep um, going and keep keep everything together. And so that's a hard part of it. It says what happens in the higher realm or plane or existence also happens in the lower realm. So this is could be toxic devil type energy. But the thing is, and that's what as above, so below means. But I just believe that when you plant a seed, you know, with this card coming out the way it does, when you plant these seeds, there is always some type of spiritual energy that stops you, tries to stop you from being grounded because they're never satisfied. They're never satisfied with how you manifest, with how you win and how connected you are to the universe without even saying you don't, you know, that that um, saying what's understood doesn't have to be explained. That's a part of you working on your intuition and also your third eye chakra and your um you know, the way you manifest. And so you're not bothered by anyone moving up uh, comes in the reverse in many choices. So you won't never move up if you hold on to this energy and you won't have the choices that everybody else has. That's where the divine detour comes in at and what goes around comes around and why you're bending, you know, why you always try to bend, you know, a reality and make people feel or, you know, make the emotions seem like they are facts when they're really not. You know, and that's why you taking things personally and not um, and making assumptions, right? You make assumptions when it comes to the, um, uh, what is it, the potential that you see in a person. And therefore, you'll always stay stagnant if you don't get out of this energy, you know, because you don't care about what nobody feels. Again, you care about what this person feels. And it says moving up, I'll read it to you. You are increasing your power and status. You may get a promotion or move into a better home or office. You climb the ladder of success. And so, damn, I keep dropping these cards. That is what you would normally do. However, this person always has you stuck. They have you stuck and they make you feel like you're not connected. And you know that you are deep down, but you just want this person to see the beauty in you. Many choices. You have options. Even if you don't see them right now, get creative and look behind. Pull a card for each options to see what's best. So let's see what options you have. You know, let's see what options you have. Because remember, bottom of the deck is telling you that this is not your destiny to stay stagnant. You know, it's not in your destiny. Oh, whoa. Look at these cards here. I didn't even know these were here. Yeah, slow moving and wisdom. Those cards came out uh, and they were automatically, I guess they were turned over from me uh, shuffling the last time. But maybe those are the two cards. I'll pull one more. Yeah, illumination. And then the bottom of the deck is money matters. Money matters a lot now. Watch your expenses and save up for the future. We need to be prepared for the unexpected. It's so that is what it is. So the two, three cards that we have, this card came out. I'll read this one. Um, because these ones came out previously, something hidden is coming to the light now. You'll find out about new jobs, opportunities, and options. Someone lends you a helping hand. So again, you're that's the universe. The divine detour is happening, and understanding that you know, as above, so below. These can happen in the spiritual realm and also in the physical realm. However, like I say, you plant in the seed, and people not being able to see what it is, you you holding on to emotions. And not realizing that they're not facts. They're, your potential that you see in this person is not facts. They have to change when they're ready to change. And they're always going to be slow moving. Money comes slowly, steady progress, career moving for work in good time and long term. So things will happen. It's just going to take a long time if you don't understand where this person that's never satisfied is. Wisdom. You are called to serve as a mentor for someone or as a role model and, and, guide, and a guide who can show the way. Use your wisdom and experience. So that is what you're doing and understanding that you have the power to do whatever it is that you want out of the situation. And so now here it is. I'm going to pull from the Empath Reiki um, tarot card deck to see what comes out. Uh, yeah, Knight of Swords. Yep. Yeah. Uh, unstoppable force. You are an unstoppable force. Unstoppable force. So once you get to the point to where you start manifesting, then you're not going to do all I do is win, 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 no matter what. Yeah, and that's the completion that you need. And so, therefore, you have to understand that this person is not on your level. You know, it's em emperor, yeah, stronger leader, strong leader. And it says triumph, triumph, 
triumphant completion and a strong leader you are very strong and for so long you you try to dumb yourself down respectfully to deal with this person and yeah uh, patient balance is the temperance energy and then the empress and the death so it had to be a necessary ending and it says nurturer and creator so the emperor seeing the beauty in yourself and having to end something when it comes to a perfect partnership which you thought was perfect and so therefore the emotions are not fact so you're realizing and looking at the facts that this is not a perfect relationship i'm going to go ahead and end this now we're going to go ahead and let this energy go you guys do me a favor and please like the video um you know, I love you guys and I rock with you and I support you guys. Be impeccable with your words. Um, I support you guys and I hope that you guys support me. But the thing is, is that my channel haven't, hasn't been getting a lot of views. And it's meant to see for, excuse me, it's meant for whoever sees it. And so just help people see the message that they need to hear about dealing with an uh, unhinged person that's never satisfied so that is how i see that all right and so yeah like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video red hearts if you made it through purple hearts if it resonates green hearts if you're working with it yellow hearts if you rock with me and got my six I mean i have my back so be impeccable with your words create a beautiful dream and it says your word can create the most beautiful dream or your word can destroy everything around you impeccability of your word only creates beauty love in heaven on earth and so that's what you want is beauty love and heaven on earth and you did try to create that and illuminate or make this person shine brighter dang these cards keep falling look a new life uh shine brighter than what they were shining because of their energy that they they pull out and they portray because you know that everything that they do is pretend, pretend and they have a false sense of entitlement yeah, they have a false sense of entitlement. And so, yeah, the money matters now comes in reverse and frozen. There may be a hiring freeze or no new work now. Being aloof can leave you out in the cold. A warm follow-up gets you in the door. So, again, the new life. It says you may get a fresh start or be called to bring a new perspective to the old job. You may also get a tempting offer or a new place. So, again, you have the power to manifest everything that you want. But don't let a perfect partnership or what you think is a per perfect partnership holds you back you have to constantly steady manifest and win you know and you have to stay connected no matter what you go through in your personal life you have to stay connected in your in the mental and again as a, as above so below and that is why because what you plant now may come to the fruition or you might deal with that same energy in the neg negative realm and as you do in the spiritual realm, you know what I'm saying? Or in a, in a, in the physical realm. And so therefore that's how I see it being. Now let's go ahead and pull for them crystal deck. And then we're going to let this energy go. Yeah, I just, okay. I'm going to have to scoot up some, the blue star sapphire, the blue star sapphire is your third eye throat chakra and your heart chakra. The ability to send strength and healing period to this person, the, um, which is your heart chakra. Um, the throat chakra is the ability to, to speak the understood what's understood doesn't have to be explained to be impeccable with your words to know that at the end of the day you've done your best to know that you've been clear and, and, and precise with everything and to trust in what you say your third eye chakra is your intuition your perception and your understanding what's understood doesn't have to be explained but you have to explain it first before it to be understood so you have to set the boundaries that you need when it comes to any person, place, thing, or situation, and thank them. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. So just know that you've seen the beauty in all the situations, but sometimes those situations cause you to end it. Nurture and creator has necessary endings as well. It says, I am open to the beauty and wisdom of the universe. I am open to the beauty and the wisdom of the universe. It's your spirituality, insight, and focus. So what you're focusing on now is you actually moving forward and illuminating and also creating and being connected and also winning and not feeling threatened. So there you have it. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.